Hey, what's up? So I'm here in my parents' basement and uh, I thought I'd start this series uh, on a weekly basis of basically me just documenting what happened this week with the startup and uh, both letting you guys know uh, what happened and kind of holding me accountable as well to what was done and um, what we plan on doing next. So yeah, um, so yeah, this week um, we're kind of in a phase of um, slow growth, I guess. Uh, we are still uh, fixing in some issues in regards to payments. Uh, payments are quite uh, complicated. And uh, the main thing right now, uh, the main issue is that um, we don't have a dev full time. Uh, as of now, it's me, my co-founder, Afons, uh, which is not full time. He actually has a, a normal job. And uh, someone we hired, his name is Luis, um, to work part time. So he works like four hours a day. Uh, so sometimes that's not enough to uh, do the things that we, we want to do. It's not his fault, of course. Uh, we were the ones hiring them, him, sorry, um, part time. But uh, Afonso will soon join full time. So it will be me plus Afonso, so me plus a dev. Uh, so we'll be able to run through uh, all the tickets and all the things we have to, to get this going strong. Uh, but right now, uh, our issue, not our, not our issue, but uh, what we're focusing on is we're adding American Express payments, so Amex payments. And uh, we thought we'd be able to add it this week, but uh, turns out we, we can't yet. Um, but still, you can still pay with Visa and MasterCard, which is great. Uh, in regards to the platform itself, um, as you know, or if you don't know, you'll know now, Vetted, I want to, I want Vetted to be a premium marketplace. So a, how can I say this? So basically a high-end uh, bespoke marketplace where you only uh, can find services by qualified marketers, qualified professionals, and their services need to reflect uh, the marketers they are. So we had a couple of professionals uh, post services which were not that good of quality. So they didn't put much effort into it. So what we did was we used something called retool, R-E-T-O-O-L.com to build a dashboard, which allows me to, um, basically with low code, allows me to uh, either accept or refuse posted services. So this is good because it'll allow the platform to have a higher quality in regards to the services that are posted on there. So not only do we have uh, vetted uh, professionals and vetted marketers uh, that go, go through a vetting process, we also have uh, curated services. So you can be sure that if you go on vetted, you'll find both top notch marketers, which were previously vetted, as well as uh, curated services, because we don't want to just accept uh, any kind of service that's posted. And this will help us clean the website a bit more, which is which is great. Right now, it looks a bit better. Um, but yeah, uh, the past weeks, we were focusing on uh, supply uh, because with marketplaces, you, you need to focus on supply and demand. Uh, but you can't just focus on supply because if you just focus on supply, you don't have demand. And you can't just focus on demand because without uh, with, them, with no supply and demand, the demand has nowhere to go. So you need to focus a bit on both. And um, we focused heavily on supply at first. And uh, we have quite a few uh, professionals registered on Vetted. Uh, not all of them have services yet listed, uh, but we have around, I'd say, 50 services right now, uh, which is good. Uh, so right now our goal is to get uh, some demand uh, pumping in. Uh, we are not going to run ads. Uh, this is not like a a product business. We can't just run ads. I mean, I could run some Facebook ads and try and target specific services, but I don't think that will work um, the way uh, it'll, it works for uh, product-based brands or uni products or uni services because this is a marketplace. It's, it's somewhat uh, different. And um, so, yeah, I, I don't think, at least for now, I'll start with the... I won't start with Facebook ads. I'm going to go ahead and try uh, UGC content, UGC, sorry, which is user generated content. Uh, I'm going to try doing it through organic, basically what I'm doing right now here, the TikToks I post on a weekly basis. Um, so right now I have a my own TikTok, which is Vasco, V-S-C-O, A-B-M, which is where I post, <clears throat> sorry, weekly TikToks. Uh, they were only being shown to, to Portuguese based audience. So I got this 
a T-Mobile card and I'll put it here in this in this phone. And um, I'll have a VPN as well. So that's basically just to see if uh, I can get my TikToks to be shown to uh, not Portuguese people. Nothing wrong about that, but it's just not the market. And um, I think that if we can get our content showed, shown sorry, to um, international audiences, uh, uh, it'll have a great impact. So that's the focus right now. So the focus before was to basically, because we launched that and it wasn't ready yet, but I thought it would be uh, interesting and a better idea to launch it without it being complete instead of waiting and postponing the launch date until everything was perfect. So we launched it imperfect. Um, we focused on fi fixing some bugs. <clears throat> Sorry, because a lot of people, uh, a ton of people registered, we were able to find some bugs we had no idea. <clears throat> Sorry, we would find. Um, and yeah, right now we have a good amount of supply. We have some demand, not too much. Um, and I want to increase that as well. Uh, I don't think I ever mentioned this on video, but uh, <clears throat> I work on another marketplace. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say its name. Uh, it's similar to Fiverr. Um, and I have a bunch of clients over there. I've been working on there since 2018. And since then I've built like a, a huge following, uh, both on, I have a Facebook group with almost 2K people. I have an email list with 2K people as well. Um, I have a big portfolio of clients that buy stuff for me every day. So I sell SEO services, that's what I do. And I have a bunch of clients that buy uh, my services every month. And um, initially when I, I started Vetas, I, I thought that I'll be able to easily funnel these people, all these people to Vetas. But um, after talking to the, the CEO of that marketplace, uh, and I, I don't want to get too much into this, but uh, he basically told me that if I did that, he'd ban me from that marketplace. And uh, it's that marketplace that's funding Vetted right now. So every dollar I make on that marketplace goes to pay our developer, goes to server costs with Azure, we're using Microsoft Azure, goes to pay, basically everything goes to the fixed costs that Vetted has every single month, which is not cheap. Uh, developer hours are extremely expensive. Uh, servers are expensive as well. Um, I mean, it takes things take money. So yeah, long story short, um, I couldn't leverage my audience. I couldn't leverage those people like I thought I would be able to. So I couldn't basically just launch Vetted and bring them all in, uh, <clears throat> which I'll have to do eventually. I mean, I can't always be not doing this because I mean, having a personal brand, I have a personal brand around SEO with a ton of clients, a ton of people that buy services from me, like I said. And as soon as I'm able to um, leverage those people and get them on Vetted, I think this will scale a lot. Uh, I think this will scale by a lot, honestly, because right now I'm holding back. Uh, I usually, I used to do weekly SEO videos uh, around, because I do SEO again, and uh, I thought SEO and uh, I explained things about SEO, SEO tutorials, and um, people really seem to like the content and, and trust me. And because of my videos, they, they bought my services and basically entered my bubble. And um, because I I couldn't leverage them yet, because if I did so, the the, the CEO would ban me. For, sorry, I'll have I'll have to cut this part of the video because I just said the name of the, the platform. But yeah, uh, let me just write down the minute. So eight minutes and forty eight. Okay. So yeah, but basically because uh, the CEO said it banned me. I mean, he has all the right to do so. I'll I'll be funneling people from uh, his platform to mine. But in my defense, uh, this is the personal brand I built. I mean, it's kind of mixed, you know, it's the personal brand I've built mixed with the clients I've gathered from his platform, but whatever, I'll, I'll have to do it eventually and I will do it eventually. Uh, I just need to, need to find a way that, um, that, that I can do it that uh, causes the least amount of damage because I know when I'm banned, I'll, I'll, I'll lose all the money I'm making on that platform. So uh, I'll have to go heavy on Vetted. And that's what I want to do. So, um, yeah, that's basically where we're at right now. Um, again, I want to make, I want to bring in demand and I have the demand on my side because I get, I'm not going to talk numbers, but I get a ton of orders and a ton of money coming in from people that outsource their SEO to me and to my services. And, um, I think, and I'm sure that if I just tell them, okay, guys, now forget buying my services on, on that platform, just buy them on this new one. But I think a lot of people will come in and this will be like a, a great boost to Vettel because these marketplaces work, in my opinion, uh, in my experience, 
with word of mouth. I think word of mouth is one of the biggest uh, factors for uh, growing marketplaces. I mean, not only marketplaces, but any business. But um, I think the product we have is better than any marketplace out there. I mean, we are the only only marketplace, sorry, that charges 0% in fees. So the freelancers get to keep 100% of their uh, earnings. And I don't want to sell that to you. That's not my goal here. But yeah, I think we have a really strong product and I really believe it. And I'm just, I mean, I've been held back for like, I don't know, a year uh, by by this guy. I mean, because I, I can't, I couldn't promote uh, this new thing that I created to my audience. So none, none of my audience knows about the weekly TikToks I do to um, documenting the process, basically. None of my audience knows about the video I recorded. I think it's on my Twitter homepage. If you go to my Twitter, it's the pinned tweet. They don't know about the um, the YouTube video I did, which is basically a seven minute short of a year full of work. So they have no idea I'm creating this. And uh, I think if I had told them in the beginning, uh, this would have been much bigger than it is now. Uh, because I mean, a personal, personal brand is really, really powerful. And uh, I think my audience would have really helped me, but uh, I didn't do it again because if I had done it, uh, I wouldn't have maybe the necessary funds to fund that and, had, and created it. But yeah, I, I will do it eventually. This video is being too long, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone will even watch this, but I guess this is great for me to commit and do this on a weekly basis to, I don't know, hold myself accountable. And uh, if anyone is interested in, in entrepreneurship and watching your business grow, I think, I think this is interesting. Um, as you know, I'm here in my parents' basement over there is a window. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I'm not saying too much. Uh, I'll guess I'll update you next week with hopefully a, a proper, a better video uh, with a bit more uh, juice in it. Um, we, yeah, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, thank you so much for, for watching these. Uh, if anyone's watching and if you like this kind of content, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'll keep on posting them and uh, yeah, our, basically to sum it up, our biggest barrier right now is me not being able to leverage my personal brand and my SEO brand that I've built. Um, so yeah, once I'm able to do it, I think uh, this will grow by a lot. Uh, sorry, my voice is cracking. Oh, and I guess I can share sales as well. Uh, last month we uh, processed $2,300 in payments, uh, which is okay, I guess. Our profit margins are very low. As you know, we take 10% off of each sale, but uh, we also have payment processing fees, which are like 3%. So we're losing money basically uh, yet, still, I guess. Uh, but we have plans to add, uh, to add sorry, um, premium plans, uh, premium buyer plans, premium seller plans. We have, have a bunch of ideas and we have all, everything documented. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll update you each week with uh, what's happening. Um, Thank you again so much for watching. I guess uh, follow me on Twitter at VascoABM, so V-A-S-C-O-A-B-M. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Cheers.